In this video, I am going to go over how to calculate propensity score weights. Um, this is the first part of chapter three of the book, Practical Propensity Score Methods Using R. Um, so this example um, you, is to estimate the effect of high school student participation in career academies. I estimated propensity scores of participation in career academies in a previous video that we will use the, the data set that already has propensity scores to obtain what, uh, the propensity score weights. So the first part here is to load the data set, which was saved as an R data data set. So an R data set. Um, I will also set the working directory to make sure uh, R knows where the data set is. So session, set working directory to source file location. The data set is saved in the same place as this file. This would work. Um, then I'll use load to load the data set. So remember that R, uh, on our global environment, is saved in this R data file. So it's not only a data set. They are this, this file here contains um, a list with all imputations from multiple imputation, a single data set for a single imputation, um, the covariate names, and the formula that was used to estimate propensity scores. Now, the the data from the educational longitudinal study also has sampling weights and it comes from a complex survey design. So we will use the survey package to analyze it. So we're loading the survey library and it has uh, also uh, one extra difficulty, which is a primary sampling unit, uh, which is a cluster that in a single cluster per strata. Um, so I have to run this option here to account for that. Um, this falls within uh, survey methods. Now, um, the, the weights that come, the sampling weights that come with the educational longitudinal study, um, in this case, we are using a sampling weight called BYSTUWT. They, the sample weights are designed to sum to the population size. So what we will do is normalize the sampling weight. So it will make them sum to the sample size. To do that, the easiest thing is to get the sampling weights and divide by the mean of the sampling weights, as it's shown here. And that will make them sum to the sample size. So run that, uh, and just to show you, I will I will get a sum here to demonstrate that they sum. And you see that's the sample size. Now, we will define the survey object using the survey design function of the survey package. And, and defining the survey object means we are telling the survey package what, the, what variable contains the cluster IDs and what variable contains a strat ID and what variable contains the sampling weights and, what, and what's the name of the data set. So, this is what's done over here. So IDs is used to declare the cluster IDs, which is PSU. Strata is the strata ID, which is strata ID weights. It's BYSTUWT. The data is called the else data imputed. And nest means that the, um, the clusters are nested within strata. So run this. That creates the object survey design, which is now over here, so we design.
And this is just as descriptive statistics. We will calculate the weighted percentage of treated, um, which is an estimate of the percent treated in the population because it's using the weights, using the, the function survey mean, because the mean of a binary variable is a proportion. So run this and we retain that the proportion treat, not treated is 0.91 and the proportion treated is 0 0.0865, so 8.6% were treated. Now, to calculate the, the propensity score weights. So the, there are two weights that we are calculating here, the weight, the propensity score weight to estimate the average treatment effect on the treated, so the ATT, and I'm calling this variable weight ATT. And, and that weight is one for observations that are treated and the propensity scores divided by one minus propensity scores for the observations that are not treated. And, and that is the odds of treatment. So this type of weight is also called weight by the odds. Um, so we use if else to assign the, the weight correctly to either treated or treated and run this. Now we have weighted weight for ATT. Now um, we'll take, we'll do a summary here just to see what they look like. Uh, the variable by or the function by is used to, to split the summary by treated control groups and, and with means that I'm running this with this data set here. Um, okay, so running this, and I can see the summary down here. And it shows me the the weight for the control goes between 0 0.0015 and 2.24, and the weight for the treated is one, um, which is what we wanted. So this worked. Now I will clean the screen and we will compute the weights for the average treatment effect, the ATE. These weights, um, if treatment is one, the weight is one divided by the propensity scores. If the treatment is zero, so not treated, the weight is one over one minus the propensity scores. So this, the weight is the inverse of the probability of the condition received by the individual. Um, run this and then ask for a summary and here I have for the untreated the weight is between 1.002 and 3.25 and for the treated the weight is between 1 and 187.782 and now these weights don't account for the sampling weights. Uh, to get the final weights that you use to, in the analysis, we must combine the propensity score weight with the sampling weight. Because they are independent, they can be combined by taking the product. So in this line here, I create a variable called final weight 2006, and it's a product of the sample weight, the normalized sample weight, and the weight for the ATT. So here it's, this is the final weight to estimate the ATT. So let me take the final weight. Uh, and I will do the same thing. I will normalize the final weight by dividing by its mean. So it's, it sums to the sample size. So we get here, summary. So that's the final weight. It goes between 0 0.001 and 34.2. Um, and here I can save it to just saving the data set with weights to our, our data file. Um, the data set looks like this. Now, you can see that at the end here, I have the weight ATT, weight ATT, a final weight 2016, which is for the ATT. Now, this was for a single data set. 
what if you have a collection of imputed data sets? So in this case, you know, the, the file all imputations has five imputed data sets um, in, in them is a list of five, each, for each of element is, is an imputed data set. We can calculate the weights for all imputed data sets using the package ME tools, which stands for multiple imputation tools. I'm gonna load it first. So um, I will use the, the function update, which makes manipulations within this list. And so we update our imputations and creating a variable called the weight ATT that is one if treated and the propensity scores over one minus the propensity scores if one treated. So this is the weight for the ATT. So that will add this variable to all data frames in that list. So all imputed data sets. And now I can use, let me clean the screen. I can use the function by here to get a summary for all input data sets. So now you can see like, if I have here one, two, three, four, five imputed data sets, in each of them I have the weights that were added. Now, going back to, and then we'll save this as in the file as all the data sets, which is the last part here. So that's how you obtain propensity score weights for the ATT and the ATE um, using R.